G'day and welcome back. I'm Faintly Saintly, and today we're back looking at Mech Tech to continue the campaign that we started earlier in the week. So we've been through the tutorial and we've played through a handful of missions. We've unlocked a couple of pilots here. We've got the Grenadier Mech, and we've got the Vault Mech. This one has an orb thrower and a stun spear. This one has grenades and a heal grenade. And I have my standard deck, uh, sorry, mech, which has a burst rifle and some mines. I th the difficulty, you're all medium, so neither one is easier than the other. This one throws grenades, but uh, also heals his teammates. Uh, but I might try something different. I might try vault. And if you didn't join me last time, this one is a strategy game with uh, a lot of action, a lot of... Uh, deck building elements as well. You pick and choose which cards you want to appear in your deck and they are the units and buildings that you build. And, uh, you know, obvious inspiration would be Advance Wars. It reminded me of a few games like Buggos and Triumph War. Um, and you come out here as the red team and you have to defeat the blue team. So we can see two different uh, teams here that we have to come up against. We have Micro, Bot Swarm, Scatter Shots, Precision Missiles and Healing Towers, which is a, sounds like a real pain. Or this team has a sniper, a heal tower, a heal missile, and a light tank. Plus some things that we can't see. And our rewards are over here as well. Might start with this one. And you can see down here, we've got some bonuses from last time. We had range training. So the range of our light troops is increased by 60. The HP of our light troops is increased by 20%. The attack of light troops is increased by 30%. And the speed of heavy troops by 20%. And these are our units here. We have the Brawler, Close Range Melee, Precision Missile, which we can launch at any time and blast the enemy from a distance. Attack Drones, Infantry, a Doomba, which is a massive Roomba vacuum that sucks up the enemy. <laughs> and Printers and Drop Pods. Oh, that's right. I did unlock the Drop Pod late in the last run. Now, I may as well go here. Now, it's been a little while, so I'm actually struggling to remember how to play, <laughs> how to control myself. Um, we have turrets down, we have three troops. All right, I'm gonna let my AI bot sit in the chair there and command our command tank. And I'm going to, oh, he's shooting missiles at me. All right, so uh, this one needs to charge its gun before I fire it, which is a bit annoying. Got him. Okay, so I can upgrade my Doomba. Make him do more damage. Oh, not more damage, sorry, a larger radius. So in the last runs, I was mostly sitting back in the command chair. This time I thought I'd get in amongst it a bit more. Try to make more of a difference on the front line. So this is the desert map, and as you can see, there are sandstorms coming out that uh, cause a bit of havoc. They cover your buildings and block paths. You have to forgive me, I'm struggling to focus on aiming and talking at the same time. <laughs> Maybe that's why I was better off in the command tank. So when you lose your mech there, you just have a little bit of a respawn timer. It's a bit of cooldown. Um, now I did have... Oh, actually, no one's in here. Really? Oh, wait, someone was in there. My bad. Um, I did have a lance I didn't try as well, so that might be something worth pulling out in a second. I'm going to shoot a drop pod. I'm going to save up my energy, get to six, shoot a drop pod over here. That seems pretty good. Shoot a missile there, maybe. Try and hit that mech. That was not bad at all. Uh, do I want a Doomba? Yeah, I'll Doomba. Come on, Doomba, get him. Okay, Doomba was not the right choice. Uh, oh, drop pods. Do you like me some drop pods? All right, I'm hopping out of here. How do I use my weapon? There's a bit of one-on-one -on -one combat going on over here. Not the real focus on armies that the previous runs had, just because I'm usually sitting back and spawning lots of troops. 
Ah, oh, there's the, uh, there's the lance. There is a cooldown, but hey, we got the job done. So it's just a battle of attrition, really. You have to uh, defeat the enemy's command tank before they defeat yours. And uh, I didn't perform too well. <laughs> Did a bit of damage. I only died once. That's not terrible, I suppose. Tip number four, mechs in commander. It's important to always have a mech inside of the command tank. When the tank is occupied, your team... Oops, I missed that. <laughs> also, the tank's cannon will only be active when a mech is inside. So take turns being the commander with your teammates. Choose a reward. Light tank. A light tank that can temporarily fire long-range artillery. Or anti-mech drones. Hard targets mechs. That's interesting. I think I want a light tank. And I think I want... What do I want? Maybe replace the drone? Just for now. Increases the HP of mechs by 280. Yeah, that sounds awesome, actually. I'm going to change my unit. I'm going to maybe go for the Grenadier. Just to see what that's like. Now, two options here. Flamers, scatter shots, and battering rams, or heal missiles, medic drones, and doombas. Better check these tips as well. I want to tell you about bonus energy. So we deploy troops using energy, right? It's the purple bar on the HUD. It regenerates over time and caps out at 10, but there's another way to get energy. Whenever you deal damage to enemies in your mech, you gain bonus energy. You can see your bonus energy at small purple symbols above your health bar. When you enter the base, this gets added to the energy. You can even go above 10. This bonus energy is lost if your mech is destroyed, so return to the base to deposit your bonus energy. That's good to know. I like that. I have an important reminder for you. Communicate with your teammates and take turns in the command tank. Swapping out has multiple benefits. You avoid long respawn timers and you gain bonus energy, so don't hog the command tank. Uh, I wonder if I can command the AI mechs to jump out of the command tank. Not sure about that. Anyway, jumping in here. So they've got a range of missiles and there's a little um, bomb robot there as well, which I need to be mindful of. Anyway, let's get to it and destroy that sand dune. Uh, slowly chipping away at him, but I don't feel like I'm doing... Oh, there we go. So, do I have spare energy now? I don't know where that's recorded. Oh, I've got my teammate's mech there. The vault. Actually, I think this indirect fire suits me a bit better. I healed my teammate there, that's pretty good. You can rapid fire those grenades when they're charged up, that's awesome. So now I can go bang, bang, bang. Stay back. Don't have a healing grenade for you, sorry. No, little dude, don't break that. Don't break that. Get away. Retreat now. I've done a fair bit of damage to him. Get down to half health. I'll just free up that dune there, free that turret. I'm gonna jump in and heal. Maybe a drop pod over here. And I'm back. What happened? All my grenades just disappeared straight away. That's a bit dangerous. I 
All right, back for a heal. Jump back in the command tank. Uh, I'm going to build a factory here, I think. Shoot a little rocket there if I can. No, I can't yet. Oh, this isn't good. Damn, yeah, missed him. If I can uh, just keep him at bay for a minute. If I get five, I get a tank. Five energy. Here we go. Go, little fella. Save it for another drop pod. And then I'm out. Get back into action. Awesome. Yeah, so it does seem a fair bit easier if I actually leave the command tank once in a while. Seems like the AI uh, is doing a decent enough job of just keeping some units spawning while I'm out and about. I'm a lot more successful that time. Good bit of cash. 100 miles to the blue border. Above your health bar. That's where the purple energy is. Okay, I'll have to keep an eye out for that. I can get a Seeker base, which is an anti-mech building. It launches four Seeker missiles at enemy mechs. Buildings decay over time. The tower heals friendly mech over time. Hmm. That could be good, but what does it replace? I'm not sure what I really want to replace there. Then again, if it's guaranteed damage. Uh, let's get rid of... So you drop a rocket trooper upon death, and you use a portable smart launcher at a nearby mech. All right, I'm replacing you. And we're increasing the speed of mechs by 15. All right, what have you got to tell me about this Seeker base, please? This is an anti-mech structure. It has a full range of the map, so just place it somewhere safe. The Seeker missiles will seek out enemy mechs. Make sure to pick up the item this has two. The item, this is a double Seeker. Fires two Seeker missiles to seek enemy mech. Okay. The Seeker item carries two more missiles. If the enemy is using this, try shooting the missiles down. And respawn timers. Piloting a mech is a constant dance. You have to balance protecting your troops and being protected by them. Keep an eye on your health bar and try not to let it reach zero. Every time your mech is destroyed, your respawn timer gets longer. So go back to your command tank to heal. You can also use cards like the heal tower or the repair droid. Gotcha. Uh, I'm just going for the easy ones at this stage. Slightly less reward, but slightly less risk. Barrett. Hightail it out of here, group 47. They've made a black hat out of me. We're here to help. Okay, so if you weren't aware of the story, these mech pilots are basically my friends, but the enemy is sort of hacking their mechs and turning them against us, so... Part of this is to liberate them and also get access to their mechs as well. So I've got these guys shooting rockets. I've got a little factory here pumping out units slowly. These little guys. Might wait here till I've got six energy and then drop a drop pod and then run away. Uh, drop pod, there we go. All right, someone else get in. Bit of a heal. Has he got a shield? What's going on there? Don't kill him, don't kill him. Oh, you got him. He's gone. Okay, those missiles are coming in handy. I'm just gonna pop in here for a quick heal. I might pop a little tank up here as well. See if they can hold off these mechs. Boom.
Hmm. Is this a bit dangerous? Leave me alone. Gotta get back in. Can I shoot him with a missile, do you reckon? No, I might play it safe. Spawn a tank there. Get another missile tower here. Uh, I'm gonna do... I'll try and hit you. Actually, I might do this. Drop pod. Come on, missile. Damn. So close, come on. There it is. Okay, so we defeated that, and that will free up that mech pilot. Oh, actually no it won't. It will force me into a duel with him. This machine's going haywire, it's looking for a fight. Oh, it won't let me change my mech either. That's terrible. I don't think this is very suited for this kind of fight. I don't think I'm uh, using this very effectively. Can I heal in this? I can. What kind of dodge? Oh, I'm pushing the wrong button. <laughs> That'll do it. What is this? Dynamite. Jeez. So do I only get one heal grenade per life? That's a bit, a bit rough. You got me. Get a heal grenade? No, I don't. Oh, I nearly got him. So close. Come on, get him. Get him. There we go. Well, he seems like an interesting mech. I might uh, give him a try. Blue tank 66 destroyed. Ninety miles to the blue border. And Barrett joins the party. Thanks. Glad to have my mech back. Whoever was remote piloting couldn't hit the broadside of a barn. We'll be fine. Okay, we have a shock trooper. He's got a big battery on his back. Can stun lock a simple troop. Bad against groups. And he's a stun spear. Or a lancer. Moves fast and does high damage to single targets. Can do a dash strike. Hmm. Five energy though. Quite fast. Melee. Decent amount of health, I think. Actually, maybe it's not that decent. No, I'll pass. Increases range of heavy troops by 60. That is the brawler and light tank, or the medium tank, whatever that is, light tank. Increases the range of mechs by 20. Increases the range of the base by 30. Um, well, range doesn't help because oh, I suppose that might help that one. Let's go range of mechs. And we have a little shop here. So I've got lots of money, $880 to spend. Drop a mine on death for 100 damage. So these are items I can equip to my cards here. A large repair pulse that diffuses a cocktail of medicines into the air. Heals nearby friendlies on spawn for 100 HP. Okay, heals nearby ground friendlies for 20 HP every four seconds. Stuns nearby enemy mechs for four seconds. Drop a flash mine upon death. Or drops mini mines for 30 damage every 4 seconds. 
Yeah, that's interesting. What's a good choice here? I think something like a tank would be good with a healing aura because it's got such high health. I can pop a bunch of units around it. Maybe the Roomba should uh, lay mines or drop a mine when it dies. Who can use this? No one. Hmm. Yeah, right. Uh, Reroll for 50? I'll give it a look. Flame Aura. Damages nearby grand enemies for 20 damage every 4.5 seconds. Okay, spinning orbs. Oh, that's for buildings, that's for buildings. Destroys up to seven energy enemy projectiles. That could be good, but it's only on the printer. Hang on, Seeker Base has, ah, oh, it's got its own item built in, gotcha. Um, I don't know if it's worth putting that on the printer. Maybe this one. Yeah, why not? So if I have a printer down, that should defend the base from projectiles for a little while. Adds a bit of value to it. Now, let me pick this fella. Revolver. Difficulty hard. He's a long range sniper. Hit accurate shots to power up bullets. Double tap the reload button to turn your recent combos into powerful bullets. Right trigger to fire, right button to reload, double tap for special reload. So, hit accurate shots, powers up bullets, if a double tap reload turns them into powerful bullets. Could I swap out? I'll give him a try. Alright. This one has a ball bot. That's all we know. This one is a light tank, and that's all we know. Let's have a look here. Nice. Uh, I think I like him, actually. He's got long range. Decent, like, direct burst damage, really. we got a little dude sneak up behind us here. Is anyone in here? I'm gonna put a little tank down here. Give him some backup. And then I'll put a missile launcher down here. They're approaching us, but the gun on here is taking care of these little units, so that's not too bad. Gonna do a drop pod right in the middle of the action. Gonna shoot a missile somewhere, I think. I'm gonna shoot a missile right there. Put a brawler out here just to hold off the enemy for a minute. Back him up with some troops. Another missile launcher, please. Thank you. Put on saber for five. We've got another light tank going. Uh, where are we? Need six for another drop pod. Oh, that tank's gone. Oh, no, he's not. He's in artillery mode. All right, I'm jumping out. No, I'm building a factory, and then I'm jumping out. trouble telling uh, whether my powerful bullets are doing any better or if I'm not reloading them right. Either way, that seemed to be an effective round.
So I feel like when I'm focusing on this aiming, I feel like I'm just sort of turning into a bit of a zombie and probably just droning on. So apologies for that. Uh, how do we go? Decent damage, didn't die. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, it's all good. $300. Getting close to the blue border. Defensive play. When enemies come to your side of the field, don't defend immediately. Wait until the enemies come into range of our towers, then defend. If we defend too close to midfield, our towers can never help out. Then, after we successfully defend, deploy more troops for a counterattack. We have a heal missile, which could be handy. Microbot swarm. Weak to area of effect attacks. Don't hate it though. I'm going to, and this might be a bit silly. Take out the precision missile. Turn it into a microbot swarm. Increase speed of mechs. Damage and stun enemies when you exit your base. Increase speed of heavy troops. I think Max is more important. Now, what does the advisor have to say about the Microbot Swarm? All right, our new Microbot Swarms are amazing. They're more efficient than our old dud Microbots. For just four energy, we can deploy 18. Whoa. With this many, this car can put out more damage than any other. If you need to take an enemy out fast, deploy a swarm right on top of them. Just remember they are weak to area of effect attack, so look out for enemy flamers, grenade mechs, or scatter shots. Sounds good to me. Hmm, this is just a crapshoot, so let's just go to the top one. Okay. I'm gonna hop in here first, I think. Build up some energy. What if, what if, hear me out here. I'm gonna pop a tank down. Oh no, I'm gonna put a swarm right here actually. Okay, that didn't go to plan. Get a brawler down, get some missiles down. Some troops behind the brawler. I'll put a factory down actually as well. Get him swarm. Or is, does he have area of effects? He's just picking him off. Uh, let's see. Got a tank up here. Another missile launcher. More troops. Another factory. Gonna chuck down one more swarm and then I'm out. There it is. Let's go. Another factory just for some constant streams of units coming through would be good. We'll put a tank down. Might back him up with a swarm as soon as I get the energy. There we go. That'd be good. Just keep these numbers going, keep the pressure on. Nice. Didn't spend too much time out of the tank that time, but it worked. Swarms did bugger all, to be honest. <laughs> I 
looks like they barely hit anything, they just were fodder. That's okay. Getting close to the blue border. That's the end of my training manual. I can still give you tips about your cards or the area we're traveling through. Look in the top right corner before you choose your path and you'll see my tips. Repair droid. Launch a repair droid anywhere on the map. Repairs a friendly mech and refills their ammo. That's nice. Heavy tank. What a beast. And you can pick up a machine gun off him, off his back as a mech. I want that. What does it replace? Doomba? Cost 10 though. It's got 1200. I'm going to give it a try. Increase the speed of heavy troops, increase the speed of mechs, or the dash damage of mechs. I think speed of heavy troops, I think a uh, heavy tank might do with a bit of a speed boost. Uh, doesn't really matter. Oh, they've got a heavy tank as well. Alright, let me in. Yep. Um, heavy tank is there. Up first up, so I'm just going to aim for that. Hopefully my mechs can hold them off for a minute. Here it comes. Put a missile launcher down there. Gonna wait a second, I'm gonna get a swarm and some soldiers. They're pushing through, that's good. Push the wrong button there. Get out of here, Group 47. They've got me under their control. So we've got another dude to rescue here. Uh, do I save? Do I... Yeah, I think if I hold off for just a second. Get this big fella out. There he goes. Back him up with a swarm as soon as I can. Draw some of the fire. Always getting cleaned up. Where are my mechs? Oh, they're over there killing their tank. That's okay. That's perfectly fine with me. Okay, so now I get to duel this guy as uh, the sniper character, or the ranger. What was his name? Barrett. It's going crazy again. Get ready. Oh, jeez. Um, what the? He's got me already, has he? Uh, help. Help. <laughs> I'm stuck. This is a bit brutal, this one. I feel absolutely useless. It's really hard to focus on dodging all this and then try to aim at the same time. Uh oh. Oh, so close. One more shot would have got him. Just damaging my tank at this point. Where am I? Get him. Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> Oof. That was rough. Made a meal of that. Look at the poor tank. <laughs> Not bad. Did plenty of uh, damage at least. Lots of cash. Hopefully there's a shop here. Mac joins your party. Thanks for the rescue. These new mechs were, we were given were a trap. 
The enemy was remote piloting my mech. I had no control. Now that we're together, it's payback time. Another heavy tank? Or a flame turret? Nah. The range of light troops? No thank you. Range of buildings? No thank you. Range of mechs? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I am going to repair the base for $50. Oh. May as well. Active protection system. I can pop that on the swarm. That's seems crazy. I can put a healing beam on the swarm. Creates a shockwave on landing for 52% of max HP. That costs my HP. Increase speed and reduce HP by 25. That sounds terrible. Oh, actually for the swarm, that would be okay. Reduce HP by 25, but speed up. Uh, I'm going to re-roll. What about 1,200? Okay, I can give my, my swarm rocket launches. Create seven electric orbs. I don't know what that does. Do they want orbs or do they want a launcher? Let's orb them up. One more quick re-roll, see if there's anything else. A case is delivered to the target location holding a one second firebomb. Don't know what that means, but sure. Bugger it, I'm just gonna go full health here. Costs a lot, but don't wanna risk dying. So I'm just gonna check out. Oh, here's a tip on him. Interested in my Mark II shotgun mech, eh? I can't blame you, this thing's real work of art. The shotgun needs to be reloaded after every shot. So you get in close, you blast them, then you back off while it reloads. It also has this flash grenade ability. It stuns enemies for a moment, but here's the real secret. I missed it. <laughs> I'm smashing the button. Oh, forgive me. These special shots do some damage, so throw your flash grenades in big groups. These dams. You've made it to our hydroelectric plants. The enemy is trying to use these to power their invasion. Let's not let them. The hydroelectric dams can supply energy directly to your base. Just send our troops onto them and they'll start generating energy for us. Focus on capturing the dams with our troops and preventing the enemy from getting that energy. Recommend a barracks or a microbot printer that will keep the dams under our control. That's a cool mechanic. So obviously as you move from you know, terrain to terrain, there's all sorts of different uh, effects and things on the map. Shotgun. Getting close to the shotgun, stun enemies with a flashbang to instantly load a super shotgun shell. Ah, okay, that's what he was saying. The closer you are, the more effective your shotgun will be. Try to hit as many enemies as you can with your flashbang. The more you hit, the more powerful your next shot will be. This mech has the highest HP, so be aggressive. I like that. Shotgun flashbang. Uh, tch -tch -tch. Doomba, scatter shot. Here's the dam, so we want to control these dams. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get straight in. I'm going to follow the advice, I think, and put a little factory down. And I might follow that up with a tank down here just to screw up these numbers. A little swarm up the top there. See their energy balls? I don't know what they're doing, but they're, but they're certainly there. And a missile launcher. Then I'm gonna launch out here. Watch out for that doom but Tell me, got a, got a retreat. Let's go. Let me in. There we go. Uh, I'm 
another missile launcher. Drop pod would be nice over here. Some reinforcements down the bottom. Another factory. Okay, so we control both of the bridges at the moment. That's nice. Ah, oh, we dominated that one. That's awesome. Very cool. Blue tank 97 destroyed. Nice. Didn't do a lot on the on foot, but uh, didn't really need to. Rescue jet creates a rescue zone to bring a friendly mech back to the command tank. Or a rocket trooper. Nah. Juices reload time by 10%. HP of heavy troops by 60. HP of light troops by 30. That'd be good for the swarm. That more than doubles their health. Alright, we'll do one more here. I'm going to do this one. Okay, pretty standard fair of enemies there. Might try and jump straight back into the tank. And I want to get a swarm up here early days. That swarm was instantly defeated. That was a terrible move. How about that brawler? So far, so good. Pressure's good. Heavy tank incoming. Probably put him up here. Hopefully he gets a shot off before he dies miserably. Put a factory there actually as well. Yeah, swarms not the choice for those enemies. <laughs> Another factory would be great. Okay, we control both bridges. More missiles. Another factory. Jumping out. Oh, got stunned. It's a bit rude. Who did that? Oh, no, I got rumoured. I mean, doomed. Help me. When they kill that, I should come out again. Yeah, there I am. Bang into shotgun combo. Love it. I actually feel quite effective with that dude. Didn't do a lot on foot again, but uh, once I was in there, loved it. Bit hard to tell what's going on with all these <laughs> explosions and units and drones floating around, but hey. Very nice. Getting close to the blue border now. What's this? An FPC. Creates infantry over time. Does not attack. Pick up an infantry from APC. Drop off the infantry. I wonder how often that spawns. Could be good, but... I don't think it's better than what we have. I have a drop pod that just launches four units anywhere, so. Hmm. HP of light troops by 40%. What are you up to now? 20. 
Oh, is that a percentage? I think I, th I thought the one before said 30, so I thought the health was going from 20 to 30, but it's a percentage. Didn't seem to affect it anyway, right? Anyway. Uh, I'm going to wrap it up there, I think. Been rambling on for long enough for this episode. So once again, this game is called MechTech. I will leave a link to the Steam store in the description if you would like to check it out and check it on your wish list. It is really good fun. It's really satisfying if you're a strategy fan or especially fan of, you know, ret more retro games um, or even sort of MOBAs. Uh, it really scratches that itch. So definitely recommend checking it out. And if you like this and want to see more, please consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot and keeps you in loop when new videos drop. So thank you again for watching and I will see you next time.